can text, as many of you are, on 81089 if you've got 50 pence, plus normal sending charges. Or you can write to me through the website at talksport.co.uk. Or you could use snail mail, as many uh, good uh, correspondents have. Here's uh, quite a, a good one, which isn't, I think, signed. Yes, it is. I'm misjudging Mr. Thomas Gidman. It's not very, uh, um, well, what shall I say, flattering, but it's good. Dear George, great show. Yes, I think you've heard it before, but of course it's the contention that makes it. I agree with most of your thoughts and aspirations, but I know you'd rather hear I find it incredible that you think your inculcated Catholic indoctrination instilled at a pre-formulated age, which inspires men to produce innumerable self-images at a cost in child benefit gravy train, to those more responsible and caring parents and able to do to those who are unable to reproduce will somehow reduce the burden of overpopulation in the world. All, of course, could stand shoulder to shoulder on the Isle of Wight. What rubbish! And on and on it goes. Um, this, uh, of course, is a reference to Fred, the wisest cabbie in Christendom, who proved mathematically that the entire population of the world could stand shoulder to shoulder on the Isle of Wight. And I have yet to hear from a mathematician who disputes that. Fred, if you would like him to, perhaps over the Christmas period when I'm on more or less every day, could uh, come in and uh, elucidate that equation even more clearly. Uh, here's another uh, abusive one, but well written. And I like well written abuse. I've got no problem with abuse if it's witty and or well written. It's those knuckle draggers that uh, can't even use the English language, all the while telling us how English they are, that get my goat. Dear George, I was saddened to hear a few weeks ago that correspondence you deemed abusive, which with you translates as anything that questions your opinion, finishes up in your kitty litter tray. But surely not my helpful constructive criticism. I had been confident that you would frame my missives and hang them about your home and office as aids to self-improvement. In this regard, I must yet again take you to task, this time in reference to your poor cat. Letters, even mine, are not written on absorbent paper, however heartily you may have wished it so. Therefore, unless your poor cat is kitted out with Wellington boots, it will be forever paddling in piddle. This is cruelty, George, of a most unhygienic kind. As for last week's show, wonderful. The eloquent, articulate Galway that's G-A-L-W-A-Y, reduced to bawling, shut up, shut up, shut up. Hardly the stuff of great debate, but hugely entertaining. Incidentally, how come you allow the word indigenous to describe the invaded, betrayed, overwhelmed Mohawk people, yet ban the use of this word when anyone tries to use it to talk about the invaded, betrayed, and overwhelmed working class of our own country? I just would like you to define those. Your bigotry and self-delusion never fails to interest and entertain. Why Talk Sport has given your slot on Saturday to that tiresome, grubby, bore brand, I can't imagine. That's from B. Marriott. Now, do you know this? I can't imagine either. But that's the way it is. I only work here. Now, that's from B. Marriott of Plymouth. And uh, put this in your pipe and smoke it, Mr. Marriott. I don't have a cat. <laughs>